What's up, gamers? We are back with our playthrough of Project Wii Man. Looks like we're staying in country with everything that's going on, so let's find out what they want us to do next. Two months later from what happened in the last mission. Got some interesting airmail. Looks like we've got a mission lined up. Among the first of the Independence Force assets which we were able to recover outright from the geothermal disaster were the partisan scout units, woods people and rangers from our park services who were no stranger to dangerous terrain. When combined with natives from the Dustlands or volunteers from our south, we've had ample ability to scout out scattered Federation forces still recovering. Facilities and bases that were built out of range of any notable geothermal hotspots have become rallying points for the Federation. And as our partisan scouts have observed, the largest one in this immediate region is at the historic Bright Fortress and Weather Facility. Tactically, in the early stages of the war, this installation was of marginal importance, often being used as a secondary base for damaged aircraft to land at and to bounce signals from the now disabled Solana Comm facility. Its location in a relative geothermal safe zone, however, has made it a new rallying point for the surviving Federation forces in this area. On the ground intel has denoted that these forces are gearing up to renew the offensive in this area. And if they do, the Federation would have started the momentum first on reigniting this war. Hitman team, you are to lead our surviving allied pilots on a tactical strike on this facility, denying the Federation the first move. That's it, huh? Business as usual? They fly out a letter and we're going back out. Better than sitting on concrete all day. What are you complaining about anyway? At least you're getting paid for it. Complaints are good. Munitions and fuel all set. Hitman team, it's your call to go up. Yep, oh, let's go up. Like I said, I'd rather be up in the air than sitting on the ground all this time not doing nothing. So we got more ground targets than air. And we're really taking off on a runway, too. Could try the new aircraft. Why not? Alright. So what we got for this one? MAAs, MLA-2s, multi-lock missiles, dual volley, longer range. I'll give him a try. Ah, triple volley. Okay. And lags. So, MLA threes. We're going to go to M lags. Let's switch with SA2s there and go with MLAX there. That way we'll be prepped for everything. Let's see what kind of color schemes we got for this bad boy. All right, that's the crimson colors. What's wrong with that one? Let's see how this new aircraft handles. Let's 
Tess will take off and run on the road. It almost looks normal again. Almost looks normal. Gotcha. Handling is much more precise on this one. Oh, target rich environment. On the picture, keep it on the picture. Y'all can leave if you want. Nobody's making it. Well, I mean, y'all being y'all being forced to stay by your country, but hey. Take out that big boy. Good hit. Rail guns are up. Enemies locking on break. Why are we even fighting here? Rail gun going down. Guns, guns, guns. Let's pull her up some. She had to pretty good though. I should cut off the communication for a while. I got you.
All right, one kid when he said double volley. Let's do one more quick pass on it and take it down. I call final shot. Alright. Deal this last ground asset and we are done. Come on, baby. Don't stall on me. Don't stall on me. Job well done. Land battleships, huh? Real gun shot off that one. It is arm. I will give it that much. They are definitely armed to the teeth. Y'all are easy sitting targets because you're moving so slow. No more rail gun. Didn't think I was going to get a lock on in time for that one. Ah, they was all on the other side. One land battleship going down.
Let me get on the other side first. Good hit. Land battleships. What will the Federation think of next? I think it only be appropriate to hit it with some mags. Roger that, Galaxy. You got your dialer just right. Come on in. Oh, this should be fun. I don't even know which one I should be hitting. I'm gonna go right here. Easy, 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 easy. Break. Woo, come on, come on. Get the other wheel down. Get the other wheel down. There you go. Am I really gonna ride this on one wheel? I'm gonna ride this on one wheel. Come on, let gravity take effect and let it hit the ground. Hey, landed it with one wheel up. The operation was a success. Federation forces in this area have been scattered and rendered no factor. If not the elements, then our secondary forces, when they sweep through, will deal with any who remain. In parallel with this mission, several other organized IF forces launched similar attacks on unprepared Federation units. With this kickoff, we can chase the Federation back into Presidia, and hopefully off of Cascadia forever. The Federation is disorganized, on the retreat. They know what we've been through, and unlike them, we will not make their mistakes. Hitman team, stand by. Gotcha. Well, that's going to be the end of this mission. So I'll catch you guys in the next episode. Looks like we still got a few more contracts left out. So let's see how this goes out. Till then, catch you guys next episode. What's up, guys? I hope you guys enjoyed that video. If you definitely like it, make sure to hit that like button. Let me know you guys enjoy the content like this. I'll work on doing some other videos for you guys. If you haven't already subscribed, make sure to hit that subscribe button. We do a lot on this channel. We do reviews on some of the latest games that come out. We do top 10 new games coming out every month. We do less plays like this and so much more. So make sure you hit that subscribe button so you can see it when it drops. If you guys want to reach out to me, you can hit me up on Twitter. Drop me a DM on there. You can join our Facebook page. Follow us on Instagram. You keep you up to date on what we're doing. Don't be surprised if you hit me up. I might talk you to death because I love talking about gaming. And make sure to take a look at our Twitch channel. I stream every Monday, Wednesday, and Saturday playing a variety of different games. So depending on what you like, depending on you might want to see something new. Do you want to just sit up and just watch me play games or chat it up with me? I just love playing games. But this is Proto, and I'll catch you guys in the next video.